All right, guys, welcome back to my little hydroplane project. This is an eight foot three point hydroplane that looks like it's kind of based on the uh, Sea Flea or the Mini Max, pretty popular little boat that you could uh, get plans for and like popular mechanics and that kind of thing. I have actually had a lot of progress since the last video. I have torn off the lower unit, which is the racing lower unit on my little race motor. And I had that serviced by a four time national champion uh, hydroplane racer. And he told me a ton of little tips and tricks. I'm gonna try to share all that knowledge with you guys, but this is primarily going to be blueprinting your hydro hull and optimizing it for drag reduction just to get a little more speed. So I don't know, I'm sure there's a million opinions on, on doing all these little things, but I figure why not? This guy seems legit, so I'm gonna try it. So we're gonna start this video with my final coat of epoxy. It turned out not to be the final coat, but yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. Okay, so I thought I had all of the coats of epoxy on this thing that I needed, but I do need a little bit more. Here's why. So when the water is coming this way on the hull, you want a really sharp edge right here that just breaks that surface tension of the water. You don't want it to round over. So what I've been doing is I had, a, I had some tape mocked up here to help build the epoxy up to it. And it actually looks pretty good for the majority of the hull. But on these corners right here, you can see the epoxy, it just didn't sit well enough. It probably just ran this way. So what I'm gonna try and do is build a little bit more of a form here with some tape and some wax paper and epoxy this area. And then I also taped up some pockets to help kind of build up these outer corners. Other than that, I think the rest of the hull is pretty good doing a final coat here and then we'll be putting on some I don't know some spar urethane or something so let's let's build these up this doesn't seem to be really thickening this I'm gonna add a ton more So now that the Microsphere epoxy is kind of curing the tacky on there, we're gonna add just a little bit more epoxy just to fill in that little groove in the back. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more epoxy on top of this, uh, especially now that it's, it's filled in, it's not gonna... Oh, shit. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do at all. This, this fucked me up. All right, we're just gonna do this. Once that cures, I think we are finally ready to sand that trailing edge and be done with the bottom of this hull. So, looks good to me. We'll come back in a bit. So here is the form that I built on the back of this thing. You kind of see I reinforced it with a strip of wood and then used some wedges to push it against the transom. And then these are the areas of tape that I used to capture more of that resin and build up these corners. I'm going to try to peel everything off now and sand it. It might be a little firm, but I want to try to get it off before it's completely cured. So let's do it. All right, so I just finished sanding the back edge of the boat here. Again, I wanted to get that angle as sharp as possible so the water doesn't come up the back of the boat, but just has like a clean break to reduce drag. This is how it's looking. It looks pretty sharp. I do have a couple bubbles, but I, I don't know if that'll matter. 
but I'm gonna have to do another coat of epoxy because I accidentally sanded through on the transom in a couple spots. So I'll get those bubbles. One thing that's kind of interesting is you can see when I first did my layer with the microspheres, it kind of sank down. And then I did another layer of just regular epoxy. And you can kind of see that, that clear laying on top of the milky white. I didn't really want this white, but I, I was just trying to build this up the quickest way I knew how. And I tried building it up with just regular epoxy and it just kept running down the side. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. A couple little flaws still, but we'll, uh, we'll iron it out here and then block it. So the last coat of epoxy has dried. It looks pretty good. You can see I added some epoxy and microspheres to some of the, the bubbles and kind of the voids that were in here. Um, now we're gonna sand this all flat again. And today over the lunch hour, I actually dropped off my lower unit to a guy named Ron in Northern Milwaukee who rebuilds these really rare uh, high-speed racing lower units. Here's a picture of Ron. Thank you, Ron, for helping me out. Um, he's gonna be rebuilding or at least going through my gear case and making sure that's up to snuff so I don't turn it into a thousand dollar paperweight. And not only did he show me a bunch of stuff inside, he's actually a four time national champion hydro racer. So we got to talking about this project and he's seen some of the videos, which is kind of cool. Um, but what he was talking about was you actually don't want a super polished surface on the hull here. It's kind of like a, I would say a golf ball. Golf balls fly farther than just a regular sphere because of those little pockets and it creates turbulence which reduces drag. So one tip that Ron gave me that I thought was a little unexpected was to sand the boat this direction, not this direction. Again, due to that turbulence helps the boat go a little faster, reduces the drag a little bit. So I guess when I block it, I'll do my last few passes uh, across the side here. Other than that, let's get to this thing and sand it out because this is really close to being done. So then it'll be time to flip it over and start rigging this thing. So what I'm doing now is leveling this rear pad. I'm just using a big straight edge and I'm seeing where it's touching. So if I go down here, it looks like it's touching on that back edge and then there's a gap right there and then it's touching on this front edge. That means that this profile right here on this hull is wrong. You actually don't want the back edge to be dipping down into the water or it's going to force the bow of the boat down into the water. So what I want to try to do is take more material off this back edge until there's a gap on the back edge and no gap in the center. So let's see how this works as I go down the hull. Now you can see that there's a gap on that back edge, which is nice. And then it looks really pretty flat. Barely any uh, gap there. Here's the center of the hull. Again, it looks pretty good. It's got a nice healthy gap back there and pretty much none in the center. About here, let's see. I do see a noticeable gap there and a gap there, but nothing there. So what I think I'm gonna do is sand the back section here to try to bring this whole back end down. And then along the edge, really good, and then gap, so that side's good. So we're gonna start here and just level this thing by taking off some material right on this corner. All right, I think this hall is really close. Let's just do the final block sanding on this thing and it should be ready to go. All right, now that this is sanded and wiped down, um, we are going to flip it over so I can start rigging this puppy. Okay, so I think the haul is pretty much ready to go. Now it's ready to rig this thing. I'm gonna be doing my next episode where I'm rigging this and then making a little more progress on the engine. Uh, the other thing we're gonna need to do is because this was flipped upside down, I had this tape here just to make sure the epoxy 
didn't go too far over the edge. I actually did want the epoxy to go over the edge a little bit, just because the there was a lot of chips where it was bare wood and then all these little screws. You can kind of see the paint was starting to come up. So I thought it would be good if the epoxy did just roll over this edge. So every time I did a coat, I would take a paintbrush upside down and just brush this, this area. So I'm gonna need to finish this somehow. Obviously to start, we'll need to peel off all this tape and then just try to figure out if I'm gonna sand this because there's huge chunks of epoxy. I, it didn't stay as flat as I wanted it to. So we'll figure out how to do that and then rig this thing. I think the engine is ready to go because check this out. Oh, you hear that? I heard a pop. Let's go a little faster. What? All right, we got something, boys. Let's go a little faster. What? It works. Oh, hell yeah. All right.